Capricorn. Hello. Welcome to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Welcome, well, welcome if you're returning. <laughs> and welcome if you're new to the channel. I am very happy you are here today and I'm very happy you're here with me today. My name is Christine Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Capricorn Tarot Reading. Capricorn love tarot reading, Capricorn love reading. And as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, pretty much always Capricorn love messages reading, channeled messages from your person, messages from your higher self. Speaking of which, look at this. So Capricorn, it looks like your person is working on communication. And when they are jumping on this Knight of Swords, Horse, Libra, and Mercury energy, which of course is all about communication. They're going to be coming in here pretty fast. They have a lot to say to you. Changing really how things have been, where things are now. So changing, changing things. Eight of Pentacles, Sun and Virgo energy. Working, look at that, working on that Eighth Pentacle. That is an action number. There's a lot of healing energy around that as well. That's also some karma working something out, working on the renewal. So everything that's been going on up to, I want to say where we are and probably where you're heading, is something they're trying to work out. You're nearby here in that seventh pentacle, Venus and Taurus energy, which is just being tired of waiting, you know, having put in a lot of time and effort into this connection. So let's see what this means. But I'll tell you, well, when this is going down or how it is, because Mercury is all about communication. So it can be phone calls or voice messages or for those of you nearby, even conversations in person. But Mercury is oftentimes connected to reading and writing as well. So it can be voicemail, SMS, email. And what I was wanting to say is I can tell you that it's going to be coming in pretty fast when it does. I'm channeling for you in January in real time. Capricorn 2024. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Happy New Year if you're here in real time. Happy 2024 if you're here in 2024 and happy wh whenever it is, <laughs> whenever you're here because this is a timeless reading. When you find the reading, when the reading finds you, it's when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection, Capricorn. So welcome whenever you are here, whether it's in real time or whether it's many months or years later. All the decks, look at this is just all the decks I wanted to say that I'm using today are linked below. And you'll also find all the playlists, Capricorn, your Zodiac readings. If you feel today is not resonating, not one little morsel, perhaps there's another reading there for you that you feel called to. You'll also find all the Zodiac readings, all signs, tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective. And if you are on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth Twin flame readings below. This is a strong confirmation of communication. Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sagittarius energy coming in real fast here. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, which by the way, those eights, two eights there. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles working on this message quite literally. And for a lot of you, it's, um, I want to say, well, it's probably archaic that it's a handwritten message. I mean, it could be. It depends on your situation. Most likely SMS, email, social media, maybe even a voice message, of course, or a call, that sort of thing. But those two weights coming together, that's butterfly energy. That's a new stage. So that's something that they've been thinking about. Look, they're here looking at this pentacle, which is also this communication. However, this is coming through. They're trying to figure it out. We saw them working on it. That eighth pentacle it's almost like the Page of Pentacles. You know, it's kind of like, are they abandoning messages? Are they writing them in their head? I mean, this is pretty clear. It's Something's coming in. It may have already. But it's almost like this Page of Pentacles has found it, you know. <laughs> it is trying to figure out how to come through here because this is like coming in in a new way. You know, it can sometimes be around some student energy. You know, and what I mean by that is, just trying to figure it out. I mean, it can be somebody's younger here, but that's just not going to be the case probably for a lot of you. It's just more about that energy. Let's get one more cut deck. Remember that this is a general tarot reading. So take what resonates, 
let the rest go. If you ever feel messages are coming in vice versa for you, you hear a message and you think, you know, that's actually, that's how I feel, then that's how it is. It's really about what's resonating for you. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. I really appreciate that so much. Let's see what else is going on here when this is when this is taking place. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards, more cards, more energy that Capricorn needs to see, needs to hear. Aho. Well, the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon energy, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. Yeah, so this is a turning point in this connection. It's the end of no contact and no communication. It's really clear, in particular with the Moon here. Look at this crustacean who's been blocking this communication, all these emotions from flowing. It's dry here, but it's still here. This is just as to block. You know, there's some fear around communication, there's some fear around some feelings here. I mean, we can see it. Somebody's not afraid. Somebody's been waiting around. We saw that in the Eight of Pentacles with that Seventh Pentacle. Somebody else has been afraid, but they are working on communication. It's really incredibly clear. Opening up, communicating in a new way. Pisces energy, Cancer and Gemini also coming through. Neptune energy, yeah, so they've been thinking about this. In fact, I feel like they've been kind of fantasizing about it for a long time. A fated connection, a destined connection. Fate and destiny, you know, controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. Having met for a reason, you know, the cycles of life, the Wheel of Fortune is always turning around. But this is wanting some kind of a fresh start here. And it's, again, connected around to this message, to this communication that's coming in. They have figured out the, the, <laughs> the riddle is what I want to say. They figured out the riddle here to get this Sphinx turning. The end of no contact, no communication, and or in separation. And the reason for that is for some of you, there may be some distance here. So that's just not even possible. And sometimes you can communicate while still not meaning that you're coming together right away. You know, ending, I want to say, the separation. Eight of Swords, Three of Cups, Five of Pentacles in reverse. So there is a little bit of a stuck energy, but look at that. Capricorn, that's your energy. Four of Pentacles, in, excuse me, in reverse. A little bit of, that's interesting, I was about to say, in some past energy of being in some shadow and ego. So there's a confirmation of that. The emperor coming here in reverse. Yeah, having been in some hermit energy, this is the separation here. Five of pentacles in reverse. This is where your person's energy, Capricorn, your specific person, the person you came here for today, maybe it's somebody else popping up that you you weren't even expecting. This is him coming back in here. Five of Pentacles, Mercury, and Taurus energy opening up communication. Here's part of why I'm wondering. You know, this is your energy, Sun and Capricorn energy. So there's like a triggering here. Afraid they've lost you. Having made a choice here that... They're regretting. There's some lovers in reverse energy here today, Capricorn. You know, there's they haven't let you go and they're worried they've messed it up, they've lost you or they're losing you. I feel like it's more about feeling like they've lost you. But maybe, you know, let's see. But this Aries and Mars energy, the Emperor energy, they're in some shadow here. There's a really strong imbalance Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energies here in the song, which we all have Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energies. This is in some ego, in some shadow, having, you know, some power struggles here also, which we, we see that they're trying to come out of them. So look what is here with the stuck energy here in the partnership placement, which we know they're coming out of. Look what's right below it is Judgment, Archangel Gabriel. The angel for messages, the herald of vision, saying, wake up, get some clarity. What do you want? Make a decision. What do you want? 
they want to connect with you. They want to communicate with you. The separation here, it's ending. They're worried about it. They're watching. They're holding on to this truth. They're holding on to this communication, some information, page of swords energy. So more, more page energy. You know, and, and we could look at this and, and for some of you, it's going to be a validation that it's somebody maybe younger in some immature energy. But the immature energy does come through. It's connected to ego. But we also have the emperor here to find masculine energy and overabundance here, holding on to that ink, that yin yang energy. So it could also be an older male that you are or that you're dealing with. It doesn't mean that for everybody. So that's just some clarity there. But the ego, the shadow, that's here. It's where they've been. They're watching. So whether there is a connection via social media, ways, you know, through friends and family, or maybe even some Googling, they're trying to get some information. They're connected here. And it's really clear that they're coming out of this energy. Virgo and Mercury energy, you know, it's where you go for clarity, for personal truth, spiritual illumination, soul connection here that has been something's going on with it. We see that they've got the clarity here, connecting right with the judgment energy. That is the clarity. That's making a decision. That is the two of you. That's coming out of the duality. Things maybe not as easy as they once seemed. That's making a decision. This is also balancing out the divine feminine and divine masculine energies in order to be truthful and clear. Clarity within themselves. We all are in balance sometimes, aren't we? So they can bring that to you. So jumping out of here and also strong validation of getting out of this separation, no contact, no communication, your person making that move. Look what is here. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Want it to be your overall energy. That's where you go after the Hermit energy. You go here into the 10th card, into the Wheel of Fortune, into the end, making these decisions here, getting some clarity, which we see here. The turning point in this connection, the end of no contact, no communication, and or in separation, the renewal. It's clear. Deducing, of course, in 201, the potential, the opportunity coming out of this Eight of Swords where they put themselves in. Interesting. That message that wanted to come through here. Coming out literally and having the, the answer to this riddle to get this Sphinx turning. But look at that transactional energy. Clarity and relationships right there. Information, truth, communication. It's the air energy. You know, it's really thinking about it. Logic, you know, kind of like a rational energy. So that wanted to come through. But jumping out of there and going right here into the Wheel of Fortune. For some of you, there may have been... There might be some devil energy here. What can I say? Capricorn and Saturn energy. Somebody that's been overindulging in something. What is it? Overspending. You know, things that are not good. Vices. That's what I want to say. Because that's one thing that I think might even still be going on or being partially playing a part. I don't think it's the only reason things are the way they are. But it's... It's playing a part in some energy here. It could also be you and why things were stuck. But this Eight of Swords, Jupiter and Gemini energy, Jupiter is the planet of expansion and prosperity. It's also around some timing and some luck, which we also see here with the Wheel of Fortune. So somebody was ready, somebody was not. Ready for the commitment, somebody's not. Somebody's available, somebody's not. Somebody not ready to talk even, somebody not. So we see that somebody, I think, is around your person. There's a strong wake-up energy here, and there is that Jupiter energy moving forward here now, around timing, being ready. The cycles of life always spinning. So timing issues for sure here, also a, a validation of that in the Three of Cups in reverse. Other people I feel like are involved, but it could also just be around people that your person is has been or is maybe still listening to friends or family, some kind of interference. That can't even be you because you're both here. But the wake up energy coming out of the stuck energy is really clear. I mean, this is the two of you here. This fortress, this castle, this journey that you're on, you know, they're bound up here like they can't do anything. They can't talk, you know, Jupiter and Gemini energy too, like stuck in their head, not able to move forward not communicating here. I mean, 
This is why Archangel Gabriel is quite literally shown up here also with the Three of Cups. Something's triggering. They made a decision here. I feel like they chose something, someone, something over this connection that they're regretting here. Wake up energy is incredibly strong here also with the moon energy. So this is opening up and communicating and we see that's what they've been trying to do really. I don't know for how long, but it's really clear here. And that seventh pentacle, that eight pentacles, eight of pentacles that we saw coming in, sun and Virgo, there's of course the five of pentacles are there on that stump, you know. The loss, working on coming back and communicating, which is a strong validation. We see the separation. How long has it been going on? That sixth pentacle they were working on in the eight of pentacles, a reciprocal energy. And that seventh pentacle, which I'm feeling you in, of course, you know, the Venus and Taurus energy waiting, looking at the six of pentacles for a reciprocal energy. So for communication and, of course, balance, getting their balance here so they can come and be clear with you speak the truth communicate what else waiting for something around the pentacle the connection yeah well it's here so here are the six of pentacles coming in the moon and taurus energy right below the moon it's the, this reciprocal giving and receiving energy around communication and emotions so definitely there have been some hiding of emotions here there's been a lack of communication. At some point, I feel like they, they kind of just closed up and were not emotionally available or giving or being really even very vulnerable. And maybe there was some pushing going on here, you know, understandably from your side. It just kind of pulled away even more. They're opening up here. They've... There is some ego here. I mean, look at this, handing it out, you know. I think that this Six of Pentacles at some point was in reverse, of course. So it's a little bit, a lot, some one-sided selfish energy. One would say breadcrumbing, you know, giving something to someone or something. And I do feel that here. You can actually see it in the Four of Pentacles, the Sun and Capricorn energy. You know, it's, but they're coming in here because this is, you know, long-term energy. So there's another pentacle here, a decision that they've either made or that they're needing to make. I mean, look, the four of pentacles, the five of pentacles in reverse, and then boom, here's the six of pentacles. And of course, we saw that the eight, eight of pentacles as well. So something, someone, what is that? Some of it is their ego holding back how they feel, some power struggles, but I think there's a lot more around it for a lot of you. It can be just fear of commitment, of course. And that leading into some stuck energy, some selfish energy, not communicating energy. But I feel like it's a lot more. So this is just here waiting to be seen, the Six of Cups energy. A lot of nostalgic energy. They're really thinking a lot about you, Capricorn, Sun, and Scorpio energy. Thinking a lot about you. There's a reunion energy here today and it's real strong and it's around communication. So for some of you, it could be that it's in person. It's not super clear. It can't even be that some of you had um, some kind of a, some discord, some arguing that went on in person around friends and family even that won't be for everybody. But definitely something around communication here, look. Because the Three of Cups in reverse, that's Mercury and Cancer energy. So that's also Mercury in reverse, almost like a retrograde, but which is interesting because we did just come out of that if you're here in real time in December 2023, Capricorn. But that is the Mercury energy, again, you know, not thinking here as they made a decision connected to the Four of Pentacles in reverse, or just simply not making a decision. Communication, planet of the mind, planet of communication, the lack of communication, some hurtful communication. I mean, look, it's just really incredibly clear. The reunion energy here sometimes can be dreamy. This doesn't feel dreamy to me. This feels like something that somebody's planning to do here. We saw that in the Eight of Pentacles working toward really strong toward communication. It's been really clear from the get-go. Soul connection energy is really strong here today. For some of you, you might be on a twin flame journey. 
not everybody is. And, you know, if you are and you're picking up some messages here, remember, it's most likely not all going to resonate. You know, these are not twin flame readings per se, but the energy comes through. So if you want stronger validation or, or messages tailored to you, definitely check out the twin flame readings below. Soulmate energy is also here. And Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups energy. So it can be that you've known your person since childhood for many years, or it's just feeling that way. The soul connection energy is quite strong here. Interesting. So we have the Nine of Wands here coming in reverse. And this is literally the separation ending. It's a kind of, it's like a vulnerable energy. It's connecting right here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is the Moon and Sagittarius energy and with the Hermit. This is coming out of the isolation energy. And that Moon energy here is in reverse. And that's the clarity that they have and that's the truth coming to you. Ten of Cups. Those three are yours. This is also yours. And the lovers in reverse did come. What's at the bottom of the deck? Six of Wands. Yeah, so this is the regret. It's connected to the Four of Pentacles. May have been an actual moment for some of you, but I think it's kind of an ongoing thing, you know? Gemini energy, Venus energy, of course, the planet of love. Archangel Raphael. The angel for healing just wants to heal broken hearts. This is around, it can be around the actual separation and the breakup energy or just the not talking, you know, lack of communication, no contact, no communication and or in separation. But this is the regret for some choices that they made, which they're realizing here. They messed up. I wanted to say something else, but I don't, I don't. <laughs> not here on YouTube. They know they messed up. This is real clear. This communication is incredibly clear. There's a strong validation here. By the way, more soulmate energy. And again, for those of you on a twin flame journey. Yeah. Six of Wands coming in here as well. Jupiter and Leo energy. That expansive energy. Look, writing past some obstacles, some challenges, wanting to work this out, really wanting to communicate with you. They really want to communicate with you, Capricorn. It's incredibly clear. This is what's coming in here today. In fact, it's, yeah, it's, I think, something that you want to hear. We need to see what's going on down here, and we're going to bring in some Oracle. It's a victory wreath here. It's a quite emotional horse who's kind of turned away, not looking at those five wands here, that Saturn and Leo energy. So what is that? Saturn, you know, could slow some things down, structure, tradition, rules, obstacles, karma. We saw that in the Eighth Pentacle that they're working through something here. They're wanting to come back in and communicate. Look what's on this emperor's mind, the Ten of Cups. So yeah, the end of a cycle. Had you built a life together? Were you building a life together? Was it on the table? It's definitely back on the table here. Lots of hope. Mars and Pisces energy can also be around blending families. For some of you, even the beginnings, you know, of, of introducing to friends and family. I also, again, I really feel like your person is talking to somebody else. Look at this. This is just incredibly clear. So this regret is also connected with the Six of Pentacles. I want to show you that. And the moon energy, the fear, the not communicating. So they're also regretting that. And the Knight of Swords. Didn't this come in already? Well, here it is. It's back. It's in Libra Mercury energy. In fact, yeah, I think this was pretty clear. This did come in and it's back. Here with the Six of Wands. This is incredibly clear. They have a lot to say to you. It's going to change where things are naturally because it's been no contact, no communication. It's that emotional horse, which looks a little bit freaked out as they ride in here kind of through whatever. Look at these sharp clouds. So some things, again, that were said, again, not said. They've been watching from afar, Capricorn. If you're not disconnected on social media, they're definitely 
they're definitely finding a way, looking, talking to other people, maybe Googling. Libra and Mercury energy, it's just incredibly clear. They have a lot to say, and actually that wants to go here. And it's coming in really fast. And it's emotional. The Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Here's that other pentacle. Contract, connection, commitment, what is it? What was here? What is maybe still here? You know, that can be around romantic connections. That devil energy can also be connected to the ego, you know? Commitment issues. Hiding, being afraid. Being more attached possibly to money or work. Another romantic commitment, some indiscrepancies, family or friends who are interfering, cultural, religious differences. It's clear that there was a decision made that, that really played a really big part that they're feeling guilty about, but also put you where you are. How long has it been for some of you? It feels like it's been a long time. So the energy of wish fulfillment is coming here, having worked this out. We can see that there's an overwhelming energy here. And for some of you, it is a clear indication of just being afraid of commitment. But that there's so much more than that, I feel. There's a lot of practicalities around this slow-moving pentacle, which is around contracts, commitments, relationships. This is what you want. You want to hear from them, and that's really clear. The Nine of Cups coming in here. And I want to show you this as well. So here we have the Nine of Cups, Jupiter and Pisces energy, that Jupiter energy of, you know, the planet of expansion, prosperity around some timing. Attainment and fulfillment, things coming to fruition here. And we have the Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer energy, strong energy around communication opening up, look coming out of nowhere energy. And there are those Three of Cups again in the upright. Mercury and Cancer energy, that's communication around this connection. And it's also quite emotional, apathetic, not really looking. And I've been feeling you in that Seven of Pentacles energy. You're still really hurt, but also really want to hear from your person. Bringing in that cup here to communicate around timing. Coming in here, I want to say to fill that in a sense. So really wanting, this is what you want. Look, not showing it. It's kind of like on your mind. And this is also what's on their mind. But that's also putting us into the Ten of Cups. So that's... The Nine Cups coming in here with that Tenth Cup. So hope for, lots of hope for renewal. The end of no contact, no communication is incredibly clear. And or in separation again, because some of you are long distance and some of you, this might just be a conversation. That's kind of like putting this back on the table, you know, whether it's, whether it's now or later. It's going to change where things have been. And for whatever time of year you're here, if you're here in real time, you know, this new year of wanting some type of resolution of wanting to communicate is really strong. Again, so you could be here in real time, but when you're here is when you're meant to be here. This is putting that hope back on the table. So again, had you built a life, were you building a life or was it on the table? It's on the table. And that can include of course, building a family for some of you, that can include blending families, introducing families, but just coming together. A lot of that has been, yeah, around your person keeping that. Hello, not goodness. just looked up and the camera was, was not on, so I need to confirm. <laughs> just a quick little backtrack here that I picked up, that I picked up the Oracle deck, and the bottom of the deck is the World card. I don't think we missed much. But connecting here with this rainbow of hope for this new cycle, whether it's coming back together now or putting this on the table. Timing is playing a really big part here, but it's a resolution energy. You know, this is, they're coming in. It's a life, it, this feels like a life-changing decision here. Wanting to get closer to you, strong soulmate energy. Also the wake-up energy around that, of how they're feeling. And something... Again, whether it's just some triggering here in the Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Cups that has them coming out of nowhere here with a whole lot to say. 
I feel like they've been working on it either just in their head or actually writing some things out for a long time. That completion energy is quite strong here. It's obstacles out of the way. So that's, look what just came in with it. So it uprighted. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse, by the way. This is interesting. So, okay, so these are, <laughs> they're sliding off and that's it, community. So this is really interesting because this is also coming together in making a decision. And also with the community energy here with the lovers, it can be that there's other things around it, you know? And that's been coming through quite strong for a lot of you, that there's other, there's another pentacle contract, you know? Whether it's work or money, other romantic connections, cultural, religious differences, even like unwritten contracts with themselves around commitment, whatever. So the lovers is coming here in the upright, Gemini energy. So they love you, Capricorn. It's really not surprising. It's been a strong feeling here from the get-go. You love them too. This is, they're re really wanting to restore some harmony here. Offer. What is that? A lot of communication opening up, a lot of sharing of feelings here. It does feel like there's you're both deciding where to go here. So offer or decisions together of where to go. The Ten of Cups here, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. The World Card. I mean, it's just the judgment here waking up. Look at this. Everything here, the direction. Bound. What has been going on? Spiritual guidance, goodness, hell, drifting, mystery. So you love each other. It's clear there's some uh, there's. I feel like there's other people or contracts, but this is also about the two of you coming together and deciding what you want, whether it's now or it's a pin in it for the future, because you clearly love each other and this is you're clearly on their mind. There's a lot of nostalgic energy here. I feel like I'm hearing finally opening up, finally communicating, look, passage. There's that rainbow again. This is the last energy coming through. I thought I was done, but that wasn't the case. Look at that. And it's in a boat. It's around the direction. So there's still hope where you're going. Look the direction. So these are kind of like you put them on, you know, you go for for example, your journey, if you think of your journey together, like you're going on a hike and trying to find your way back, you leave these stones piled up so you can go, when you go back, you see where you were. So it's finding your way back to each other. The hope here is strong. The wake up energy is strong. The renewal is strong. The end of no contact is incredibly strong. And this rainbow of hope look connected to the divine is here in a little boat on the divine emotional energy. But where, where the passage, it's like the hope is incredibly strong of something new here for the both of you. There are some issues here. I mean, that's not surprising. We're going to talk about that energy in just a moment now. <laughs> Drifting, mystery. So it's interesting because that's bringing in some high priestess energy. You know, and that's divine feminine energy, it's cancer and energy, it's like a reveal. And look here, where did that go? So here's the boat again. So here it is in passage, here it is in drifting. This is the lack of communication. Not really sure what's happening, not really sure where things are going. Drifting, mystery, it's really incredibly strong, but there's also a decision that you're both going to be making here. We have the lovers coming back in wanted to connect here with the Six of Cups. This was the lack of communication and also trying to figure some things out. This is the separation here. The roots are exposed. So whatever's going on, I feel like really in both of your lives, lives that you've built, lives that you were trying to build together, that some of you have something still on hold, something still here between you. This is just incredibly clear. And it's also a revealing energy which we already can see here in this passage of like a new direction. It's here. Finding your way back to each other and making a decision is really clear here. It's really clear that you love each other. I know that's not always enough. There's a lot, there's a lot of other things involved with timing, other, other people, other contracts look bound. 
spiritual guidance connecting really strongly to the Six of Cups. The feather is here, an angel is near. It's kind of bringing in also some Hierophant and High Priestess energy, which we already got here, and that's both of you, your soul connection, trying to figure out how, how to navigate this. I think you think about it, both of you, a lot, but there's communication coming through here. There's a chance to make some changes, whether it's pin it, putting a pin in it for later or just coming back together. But bound, you know, look, kind of hands are tied. S sort of somebody may be tied into a location, into another, again, another contract commitment bound by what, you know? Almost looks like buildings sort of in the background or it's just like a picture in the dark do you know what I mean but their hands look like they're maybe bound but they almost look like they're not that they could just come free but there's something here the timing is really incredibly strong again somebody's available somebody's not somebody's ready somebody's not locations bound by contracts you know what is this contract here connected to spiritual guidance. So both of you really trying to figure it out. Look where it is too. It's right here with the two of pentacles in reverse and that's your energy. It's Capricorn and it's Saturn energy again. Structure, rules, tradition, obstacles, karma. Something getting worked out, whatever that other contract is. Feels like it's strong on around your person's energy but it can also be you. Held and goodness. So this is also, I like this because it's a reminder of how you feel about each other, also of taking care of yourself. Yeah, there's there's not a, I don't feel like there's an energy here of anybody not thinking anybody's not good. In fact, they think you're the best thing that ever happened to them. You are their biggest wish here, Capricorn. So that just felt really overwhelming. I think you're each other's biggest wish. It's almost like moon energy too, you know? one is it two how you feel about each other I think there's been a lot of questions a lot of uncertainty around that but that is just really clear for me this coming together making this decision this communication again is it it's sort of like just lifting up some heavy heart energy and maybe it's putting a pin in it for some of you some of you but this is a turning point here it's one that is really desperately needed it's a conversation communication that is just really really needed whatever you're planning to do after that because judgment energy this is you know they're coming in here this is reconciliation or closure energy you know i feel like it's a resolution so it's reconciliation as you talk and figuring out in this lover's energy where you're going in this community energy of coming together Airing everything out, they're asking for forgiveness. What is that around? They want to be honest with you, truthful with you, clear with you. It's a lot that they want to say. There is still some fear here. There's some regret here, but they have heard this message loud and clear for, from Archangel Gabriel. And they think, yeah, maybe it's too little too late or hearing that, but I feel they think really highly of you. It's interesting because when I see this card too, I think of hold. I always read it as hold. So it's like a holding pattern too, you know, but it's held. But I'm also thinking of holding pattern. Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. That's obviously yours. That's a lot of messages. Capricorn. I've never felt like this. Six of Cups and Lovers here. It's some of the fear that's in that moon card of that crustacean of why they held back. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's also regret. Lovers in reverse. Six of Pentacles when I feel like it was in reverse. Do you miss me too? Because we know they're here in that Six of Cups energy missing you. That's the nostalgic energy. I think of you all the time right here with lovers, look with direction, with judgment, how things could have been different, how they can be different, the possibilities, the hopeful energy. We have a deep soul connection. Yeah. Lovers, six of cups, spiritual guidance. I spy on you. <laughs> That's the page of swords energy here. 
We know that. I don't think that's really ever stopped. It just is quite strong. I miss you too. Did somebody send an I miss you? Yeah. So this is, look at that, the two of you. Telepathic messages. Do you miss me too? I miss you too. I think there's an alignment here. It's connecting with the partnership placement, the Six of Cups energy of you both there going in and out of that nostalgic energy. We were destined to meet. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Fate and destiny. I was stupid. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Look, the bound energy. Gosh, it just really connected here with the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So for some, it's I think it's not as simple as just lack of commitment, but it is here. But it's around this other contract. Contract, relationship, commitment, money, work. What is it? You know, it's really strong. Something they tried to change, changed, did it wrong, regretted it, made the wrong decision, chose something over the connection, didn't choose something out of fear, maybe lied even. Because there's a lot of regret in that lovers in reverse, which we felt coming in, and it did. And then it came in in the upright to validate how they feel. I want to be honest. Yeah, how they feel. I want to be honest. The hopeful energy connecting here. Look, the four of cups right in between passage and hopeful energy, the new direction. Just even talking about it. This is a faded connection. So that is also the wheel of fortune. I took you for granted. I think that was in reverse at one point. We were meant to meet. That is more Wheel of Fortune energy. This is real. World card. I made so many mistakes. Yeah, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Also Lovers in reverse, but that's kind of where it started. This is more of the regret now. And again, for some of you, there may have been some arguing. Please forgive me. It's a really strong, apologetic energy. Your last channeled love message message from their higher self Capricorn. Do you think of me too? Look at this telepathy between you. I think of you all the time. I think of you all the time. Do you think of me too? So it's also the question. This is how it came in. Do you think of me too? I think of you all the time. Lovers. Lovers. Connecting to the Six of Cups as well. Capricorn, that is your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video. Subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Don't forget to turn your notifications on so you know in real time when your readings are coming or any reading that you might be interested in. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you, and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading.